Hey, welcome back, YouTube. This is Stephanie R. Bridges, writer, author, entrepreneur. And today I am back with my top five fashion gurus. Now, um, my first two top fives were hair and makeup. And as I stated, I'm not big on hair and I'm definitely a novice when it comes to makeup. But when it comes to the fashion category, you know, I think I do pretty well. I can still coordinate a mushroom tie with the mushroom lining and some mushroom socks. So in this category, you know, I'm really looking closely at the people that I choose. And it's probably a little more difficult um, to be included. So with that being said, let's take a look at the criteria. Again, personality. Personality is always going to be on top of the list. Um, you know, there are people that I try to watch, I want to watch, but I just cannot watch because I... I just cannot vibe with their personalities. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to look at is their actual style. So these need to be um, people who when I see, you know, what they're wearing, I'm like, oh, I wish I could wear that. Or, oh, I should try that. Or, oh, I've never thought of that. So it, it can't be that basic, um, at least not in my eyes. The final thing that I'm looking at is look books so a lot of youtubers do look books and a lot of them consist of the person you know standing in front of a wall in their home or standing in their room or standing on their front porch and that's not really what i'm talking about here so i'm talking about look books who they actually have cinematography you know how um, the movie credits uh, start when a movie starts to come on and you see the protagonist and you hear the music in the background and you see them walking through the world. Okay, that's the lookbooks that I'm talking about. And I think lookbooks are probably one of the hardest for content creators to create because just the logistics of being out um, in public spaces wardrobe having a camera person this is something something that someone else is definitely going to have to film on your behalf and then putting all that together with music and editing it takes a lot of work so i can really appreciate when a person goes all out and these youtubers have definitely done that let's get it started Number five, Tia Maria Nelson. Tia is fairly new on the YouTube scene, but she is definitely pushing through. Her lookbooks are very high quality and her style is impeccable. Tia is a girl who walks with her own theme music in her head. She is refreshingly relatable in her commentary and provides excellent overall insight into what she is purchasing and wearing. Tia's social media platforms are growing by leaps and bounds. Enjoy the ride. Number four, Aviel Amor. Aviel is one of the dopest women on YouTube. You watch her videos and you're like, wait, wait, I, I wasn't ready. Promise. I want to rock some slick ish to the corner store, a random apartment building, and then to the laundromat because her lookbooks are lit. The camera loves her and she loves the camera. Creativity permeates through her hair, makeup, wardrobe, walk, and moves. Aviel's edgy style and bold choices are still somehow effortlessly commercial. She is definitely one to watch. Number three, Lisa Alamode. Lisa is super cool. She is very transparent regarding her journey on YouTube, which has yet to reach its full potential. 
Hopefully, she will continue her hair tutorials, makeup reviews, and fashion lookbooks because she is a person everyone can root for. We hear a lot, if I can do it, so can you. But Lisa embodies that, and her success feels like my own. My affinity for Lisa could have something to do with the fact that she is a writer as well. And Lisa has hit her stride on her blog. There, she does current events, gossip, fashion, natural hair. Basically, she is giving the people what they want. So, subscribe to Lisa's YouTube channel and her blog, and definitely check her out on the gram. Her style is always popping, from crown to soul. Number 2. Styles by Fash Fash is the consummate professional. She recently spoke about allowing more of her personality to show, and I have heard other YouTubers express the same sentiment. But I, for one, can appreciate a true professional, and I find them very inspirational. There is a huge difference between polish and lack of personality. What doesn't make sense on YouTube, I'm sure, makes dollars elsewhere. With that being said, Fash's fashion sense is undeniable. She is able to add her own twist to classic ensembles that do not err on the side of trendy frivolity. And her lookbooks, straight fire. Follow her lead to create a wardrobe that will last and turn heads at the same damn time. Number one, Maria Antoinette. Maria should have her doctorate in swagology. I watched one of her videos and it literally made me want to get up, get dressed and move to a city with city people and city activities. Being an introverted homebody, I didn't move forward with any of the aforementioned, but the thoughts did pop in my head. And they were inspired by Maria Antoinette. Isn't that what art is supposed to do? Give us the space to reflect on our lives, our being, our existence in the moment and into the future with fond reflection. Girl, you better work. Maria is also a cosmetologist and is launching her own affordable wig collection. Definitely follow her on Instagram so you will not miss any of her stylish moves. All right, there you have it. My top five fashion gurus. Let me know in the comments below, did I get it right this time or nah? Who are your top five fashionistas that you love to follow on YouTube? Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bless up.